You would have to take a strong step towards less criminal uh, sanctions for drug use. You'd have to take both a more permissive and a more public health approach. If people are able to consume drugs in a way that doesn't cause them to bother anybody or create any, uh, cause any criminal activity, except for the activity being defined as criminal in the first place, if you say the drugs are illegal, we probably need to permit that. Um, there's many reasons for that. One, we can't stop it. Two, how much better is it that, you know, they should take antidepressants or OxyContin like Rush Limbaugh rather than whatever drug it is they are taking? Um, we should, of course, make available treatment for people who think that whatever drug they're taking, they're taking too much of. And that should include a wide range of drugs. Um, in fact, people do undergo withdrawal and addiction to not only painkillers, but antidepressants. Um, we should uh, make a viable, a wide, not only should this treatment be voluntary, but it should cover a wide range of approaches and express a wide range of values. If you can't get into the Christian fundamentalism of the 12-step approach, there should be lower key alternatives where somebody can talk to you in a reasonable way um, and say something to you like, what do you feel your problem is? Maybe I can work with you with what you perceive to be your problem. Uh, here are some techniques we have. Here are some options that you could try. Uh, if we had a lower key approach that on the one hand didn't uh, attack people who don't seem to have anything like a drug or alcohol problem since their use seems to be entirely voluntary con and controlled on the one hand and on the other hand we had a much wider and more gentle net for responding to people who clearly do have drug and alcohol problems so that they're not penalized so that they're given choices when they seek help we'd have a, a, a much better chemical health in our nation where we'd, we'd have better treatment for those who do have excess and we'd waste less time and money pursuing those who don't seem to have any problem other than the problem that, we, that they create in other people's minds.